Okay, in this video we're going to evaluate these four definite integrals. So let's go straight in with number one. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do with each of these, in fact, is to make sure it's in a format that I can integrate. So you want to prepare your vegetables first, okay? So I want to write that is as ax to the something, okay? So this will be x to the half dx. So I need to rewrite it like that first before I can integrate. So now you want to open up the square brackets, add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and I'm evaluating between 0 and 4. Now I want to tidy that up. I don't like a fraction in the denominator. So that is 2 thirds x to the 3 halves, evaluated between 0 and 4. So now open up the two brackets, substitute in the 4 first, so that's 2 thirds times 4 to the 3 halves, take away substituting in the 0 I will just get me 0. So I've got 2 thirds times 4 to the 3 halves, which is 16 over 3, and that is that integral evaluated. Okay, let's have a look at number two. So number two, I want to rewrite that as x to the minus two before integrating. Square brackets, add one to the power, divide by the new power. So I'm gonna rewrite that as minus x to the minus one, integrated between two and three. You could have that as minus 1 over x, okay, it doesn't really matter. So, open up brackets, substitute the 3 first, so minus 3 to the minus 1, and we have minus 2 to the minus 1. So in other words, we've got minus 1 third, take away minus, so plus 1 over 2, okay? So minus 1 third plus 1 over 2, um, so a sixths, that's minus two sixths plus three sixths, which is going to give you one sixth. So that is number two evaluated. Okay, let's have a look at number three. So number three, I can't integrate it like that. So I'm going to rewrite that as 5 lots, because it's 5 lots of 1 over the fourth root of x. So 5 lots of x to the 1 quarter, but it's the minus 1 quarter, because we've got the 1 over. dx evaluated between 16 and 81. So I want to add 1 to the power. So minus 1 quarter plus 1 is 3 quarters. Divide by the new power, evaluated between 16 and 81. Okay. So then I want to simplify that. So that's 5 lots of 4 thirds, which is 20 thirds. X to the 3 quarters, evaluated between 16 and 81. So open up your brackets. Substitute in the 81 first, so 20 thirds times 81 to the 3 quarters. And we're going to have 20 thirds times uh, 16 to the 3 quarters. So that first bracket will be 180. And the second bracket will be... Uh, 160 over 3. So 180, take away 160 over 3, is 380 over 3. Okay, so that is the answer for number 3. Right, number 4. So we've got x plus x cubed over the cube root of x. 
So I'm going to first of all rewrite that as x plus x cubed over x to the third. Okay, now this is a fraction I can split up because we've got the x over x to the one third plus x cubed over x to the one third. Okay, so let's rewrite that. Now we've got x to the 1 over x to the 3rd. So 1 take away a third is 2 thirds. So x to the 2 thirds. Then we've got x cubed over x to the 3rd. So 3 take away a third. 9 thirds take away a third is 8 thirds. OK, right. So now I can add 1 to the power. So 2 thirds plus 1 is 5 thirds. Divide by the new power. 8 thirds plus 1 is 11 thirds. Divide by the new power. OK. So if I rewrite that, I'm going to have 3 fifths x to the 5 thirds plus 3 elevenths x to the 11 thirds evaluated between 1 and 8. So open one bracket and another bracket, substituting it in the 8 first. So we're going to have 3 fifths times 8 to the 5 thirds. So that's 96 fifths. Then we've got the 3 elevenths times 8 to the 11 thirds, which is 6, 1, 4, 4 over 11. Now substituting in the 1, I'm going to get 3 fifths plus 3 elevenths. 96 over 5 plus 6, 1, 4, 4 over 11 is 3, 1, 7, 7, 6 over 55. 3 fifths plus 3 elevenths is 48 over 55. So we should get a final answer of uh, 31728 over 55. And that is the final answer, number four.